Welcome to American Broadcasting Station. With just one simple click, kindly subscribe to our channel for more updates. As tensions between Ukraine and Russia grow over the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, heavy explosions has rocked the plant continuously. Russia and Ukraine have finally agreed to grant access to UN officials on the site to assess the degree of damage on the plant. Lately, thick smoke has been seen ousing out of the plant. Russia's defense ministry says the facility could be shut down if Ukrainian forces continue targeting it, while stating that three countries are in critical danger from radioactive fallout in the event of an incident at the plant. The Zaporizhia plant, the largest in Europe, has been under occupation since March when it was captured by Russian troops, though still run by Ukrainian technicians, there has been concern over the fate of the power plant stuck in the middle of a conflict and the risks it could pose to the entire European continent. Zaporizhia nuclear power plant has become the epicenter of the conflict. It has been the target of several military strikes since the end of July, and both Kyiv and Moscow have accused each other's forces of shelling the facility. During a briefing, the head of Russia's radiation, chemical and biological defense forces Igor Kirilov said Zaporizhia's backup support systems had been damaged as a result of shellings. Germany, Poland and Slovakia are the three countries which would be hit the hardest by the consequences of radioactive material. It's not clear how the tensions over Zaporizhia could be de-escalated further, as both Ukraine and Russia accuse each other of risking a nuclear catastrophe in Europe. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has called for the immediate and unconditional withdrawal of Russian troops from the nuclear power plant while urging the UN to help secure the plant. Zelensky claims that Russian troops take cover under the plant while shelling nearby cities and communities. Regardless of all these blame game, any radiation incident at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant will affect the countries of the European Union Turkey, Georgia and countries from more distant regions, together with those countries who have remained silent so far. In early August, the International Atomic Energy Agency called for an immediate end to any military action near the plant, saying there was a very real risk of a nuclear disaster. The impact of an accident at the plant could certainly be felt in Crimea, which Russia annexed in 2014, as it is only 125 miles from Zaporizhia. Neighboring parts of Russia would also be in danger. An incident at the plant would likely cause an immediate evacuation of thousands of people living in the region surrounding it, and there is no way of knowing how long the impact of a radiation leak would be felt in the area. Kindly subscribe for more updates.